Hey guys, it's Cho and I'm back with another video. So it's the end of June. This video may be released um, in the beginning of July, but this is my empties video for the month of June. Now, I've only got a couple products here. I don't really go through products like other content creators because my goal is not to try every product out there in the world. Like That's not my goal and I don't have the funds to do that. If you would like me to review more products, um, you can definitely help me to purchase them by donating to my Buy Me A Coffee page linked below. But we'll get right into the products that I have used during the month of June or finished. The first one is actually a Paula's Choice product. It is the Anti-Aging Clear Skin Hydrating um, Hydrator. Um, this is a, um, a moisturizer that I got when I first got into skincare. I was still kind of like experimenting with like what my skin tone, not my skin tone, but what my skin um, type was. And so this is for normal to oily combination. Now I have dry combination skin, which I don't know if that's even like, is that the same thing as oily combination? I'm not exactly sure. The point of <laughs> the point that I'm trying to make here is that this did not really give me a lot of hydration. I err on the side of dry dehydrated skin. I do get a little bit oily right here. I have a little bit of oily T-zone sometimes, but for the most part, my skin is typically pretty dry slash dehydrated. Now this um, product um, is formulated with a little bit of ni niacinamide as well as some vitamin C. Now I like products that kind of sneak vitamin C into the formulation. Vitamin C tends to be something that is unstable, hard to formulate, easily cause of irritation. And so it's great when it's already in a product that's stable. Um, it's not gonna give you like those brightening effects on day two or day three, but over long-term use, I think that having vitamin C in other products in smaller amounts can be helpful. I did like the consistency of this product, but again, it is very lightweight. So I think it's gonna be great for those with oily skin. In fact, the reason why it's taken me so long to use this product is because I've actually been sharing it with my partner. He definitely has oily skin, so this was something that he was able to use. And I kinda just helped him finish it off and I will not be repurchasing this, but I do recommend this for, for those with oily skin. Okay, moving on. Um, the next product we're talking about is um, Even Prime's Barrier Serum. Now y'all, I have talked about Even Prime so often on my channel, all over my Instagram page, all over my blog. So I don't think I really need to talk too deeply about this barrier serum. If you want to know um, a deep dive into why your skin barrier is so important, definitely check out the link below in my bio, in my description box, where I talk about specifically this product, the benefits of maintaining a good moisture barrier, how it can become compromised, and why you should try to avoid that at all costs. Now, this barrier serum is one of my holy grails. I have been using this religiously since I wanna say, was it, it was either November or December of 2020. And moving forward, it will always be a part of my routine. Um, it really helps um, to really smooth out any wrinkles that you may have, diminish wrinkles, it has really given me a more useful appearance. It has ceramides, it has peptides. So it's just, it's very great at hydration. It's very great at reducing wrinkles. It's chock full of um, antioxidants. So it's really protective as well. So it's not only going to rebuild your barrier, but also protect your barrier. It has hyaluronic acid. It's just chock full of a lot of good stuff. So definitely check out my other videos where I talk about this um, Holy Grail product of mine, as well as the link down below where I write a blog post about it in general. It's definitely something I highly, highly recommend. I mean, 
it has definitely changed my routine for the better. And again, it's one of those things that I never take out of my routine. Even when I'm trying new products, I never take this out of my routine. Um, and if you guys want to try it, I do have an affiliate code for Even Prime, Cho15. You get 50% off, or look at Jazz. But they also have sales. So if, they, if they ever have a sale where you can get 20% off, use their code. Don't use my code. I want you to save a good coin, okay, honey? Um, lastly, product that I emptied out was the Soothing Mist. Now, um, I did empty out these two Even Prime products, and you will probably be seeing more Even Prime products next month during the month of july because I, as you guys know i just finished that 28 day trial and i'm trying to get through those products um so you'll definitely see those next um, month as well now the soothing mist was something that i had never tried before um let me look at this ingredient list because i cannot pronounce this and i had to like write it down to make sure like i got it right this has galactomyces ferment filtrate which as they say, it's a powerhouse byproduct of the sake distillation process that hydrates, brightens, controls excess oil, and diminishes the appearance of acne scars and large pores. It's also super refreshing to have this essence slash um, toner essence. It's like in that same category as a spray form. It's really, really great. Um, it also has niacinamide. Um, it also has something called Kadagu plum extract. It has sea buckthorn fruit extract, panthenol. It's just really chock full of a lot of hydrating and soothing ingredients. It also has centella asiatica, which is, as you guys probably have heard, is um, really, really soothing for inflammation, irritation, and redness. Highly recommend this, for sure. And again, Cho15 at checkout on Even Prime. Check it out. Now, I'm doing something a little bit different, y'all. I am going to start doing a couple story times with my empties videos, okay? Now, this is something that someone said I should talk about on my channel. It's not related to skincare at all. So if you wanna just exit out of the video, go ahead and do that, okay? Go ahead and do, leave me a like first. Leave me a like first, and then go ahead and just leave the channel because we're getting we're getting into a very dramatic story time. Okay, so a couple weeks ago, this is gonna be very traumatic and very traumatic and just very. Uh, I'm still reeling from it right now, but a couple weeks ago, went out to this very very fancy restaurant. I like to eat out. I like to treat myself. I deserve it. I work hard, so went out to this fancy restaurant. I'm a regular there, by the way. Love this place. Great food, great service, never had a problem. Until this day, I had a problem. Had a big problem this day. So we're ordering drinks. The guy, the bartender got my drink order wrong. Okay, no big deal. It was a great looking drink, so I drank the drink, okay? Um, but then he proceeded to get my drink order wrong a second time <laughs> and it was so funny because he got my drink order and then he realized that he had effed up my drink as he was making the drink so he comes over to my darling and i's table i mean we're at the bar up to our bar seat and he's like oh you actually wanted this drink and i'm like yeah i want that drink and so he pours out the incorrect drink that he's making me and then makes me another drink that happened to be another wrong drink. I mean, uh, so anyway, that happened. And then, um, you know, it's just, I don't return food at restaurants, y'all. I don't return food. I don't return drinks. I don't swap out food. I really don't complain. I have worked. For those who know me very personally, I have worked in the restaurant industry for five, six years. I can't even tell you how long. I, I have experience managing restaurants, um, opening restaurants. I mean, I've, I've dipped my toe in that pool, okay, for quite a while now. And one thing you'll never catch me do is be rude to service or um, to complain. 
you're never gonna catch me acting a fool at a restaurant, okay? Because I know what it feels like for customers to act a fool, and it's ugly. It's very, very ugly. So I just drank the drinks, okay? I drank all the wrong drinks, y'all, okay? The drinks were good. So I can't even front and say like the, the drinks were bad. They were, they were fantastic. They were just the wrong drinks. So anyway, it's getting late. Um, we finally um, get the tab. The tab is a hundred, it's like a hundred and twenty something dollars, I believe. 120 something dollars. Cause I know I'm bougie like that. I like bougie food. The food was fantastic. So I pay for the meal. I pay for our meal and our drinks. Um, I order a third drink. He gave me the wrong drink a third time. By the way, <laughs> I can't make this up. You can't make this up. Ooh, ah, the ghetto. The ghetto. The ghetto. You can't make this up. Gave me the drink order wrong for a third time in a row. Okay. Still, I'm not gonna complain. I'm not. I'm not a complainer, y'all. I don't complain. Two minutes later, no, five minutes later, he comes back and he does not have my credit card. <laughs> he's lost, he says he's lost my credit card. <laughs> Excuse me? So I'm like, hey, so he, when he tells me that, Y'all, I'm like still shot, even as I'm retelling the story. It's so effing true. Like I'm, I am shot as though I'm living, like reliving the moment as I'm retelling you this story. I'm like, really? So I tell the bartender, I'm trying to be jovial at this point. I'm trying to be jovial. I'm like, well, <laughs> it can only be a couple feet since you're at a bar and there's the register right there. And you were just, I mean, <laughs> I'm sure you'll find it. Well, spoiler alert, he never found my card. So that's annoying. I'm like really, like I'm really annoyed. I've gotten the wrong drink order three times in a row and now my credit card is lost. Now mind you, let me get it up for you. Mind you, this is my credit card, okay? It's an American Express rose gold card, okay? So it's not the most common card ever. It's also metal. So <laughs> I don't know how you lose a card like that. And also, I just don't understand how, I don't know, I, I still don't know how this happened. I have no idea. So anyway, the entire bar, is searching for my credit card at this point because it's been 20 minutes. They still have not found my card. They have flashlights out. He's got the other bartenders looking for the card. Uh, the alleged manager of the uh, restaurant is now looking for the card. Everyone's scrambling. There are still customers that need to be served, by the way. So like the stress levels are very high. My bartender that was my server was visibly upset. And I forgot to mention this, but he, he was really off was very off from the very get-go, like very, very, very off. I don't know if he was like coming off of like an acid trip. I don't know. I don't, I, I don't know. I mean, if you're in, if you if you love it, if you like it, I love it. If you're into that, be my guest. Um, but I don't know what was wrong with him that day. He seemed really off and this all but confirmed it, but he was really stressed out. I felt so bad. I felt horrible. Um, so I just, and the, oh, also, I'm like, I forgot this part too. The guy never gave me a pen. So I have the receipt in front of me without a pen. I'm trying to pay for this meal and get my credit card. And I just couldn't, I was just so agitated. Finally, I'm like, give me a pen. It's been 30 minutes. Give me a pen so I can sign this check and go. I'm just gonna go. I just wanna leave. I just want to go at this point. You know, I just want to go. I'm agitated. I'm over it. 
I'll just cancel the car, block the car, and get a brand new one, okay? So I get a pen, I tip this guy $30. I mean, and the whole total bill ended up being like a hundred sixty something dollars. I think a hundred sixty seven dollars, something like that. Um, and again, you guys, you know, may think I'm crazy for tipping. What was that? 25, 30 percent? I don't know what that was. But listen, tipping. I can go into a whole rant about tipping, y'all. I really can go on a whole rant about tipping. I'm gonna get murdered. I'm gonna get murdered. But it has to be said. I'm sorry. It has to be said. Like. Stop. Tipping is an institutionalized way for employers to exploit their workers and their employees. Listen to me clearly when I say this into the camera. I want you to think critically about something right now. In what world does it make sense to have your consumers Pay the wages of your employees. Think about that for a second. In what world does it make sense to have your consumers of a product that you, a product or service that you're providing, and have your consumers pay the wages for your employees? It makes no sense, y'all. And it needs to it needs to end. Like tipping should not be something, it should not be a thing. Period. If you want I'm, you should just pay your employee. You should just pay your employees a wage. What? So, and because of the whole issues with tipping and the whole culture around tipping, and I know people that do not tip anything, and I, I just don't think it's right to not tip your servers. It is not morally right, and I'm just not built like that. Okay. So you can give me the worst service in the world, I'm still gonna tip you 20%, period, okay? So leave me a hate comment if you disagree. Leave a dislike if you disagree with the whole tipping thing. But anyway, I left my tip, 160 something dollars. I'm agitated, I wanna go. So here's the kicker, y'all. The gag is, the manager comes up to me, he's like so apologetic. He shakes my hand, I'm so sorry. Um, I wish this didn't happen. I'm so sorry for your inconvenience. This is my name. What's your name? Um, the next time you come in, your first round of drinks are on us. Are you kidding me? Excuse me? It was that moment that I knew I was never going to step foot in that restaurant again, ever, because the audacity. Okay, I just paid $167 at your restaurant, and you want to comp me about 20 bucks? That's ridiculous. That is ridiculous, y'all. That is not how you handle a crisis customer service issue at your establishment. That's just not how you do things. So I like, <laughs> yeah, okay, and I left. How dare you? Like, how dare you? That's disgusting. I mean, really, really, really poor mishandling of the situation because had he just said in that moment, I'm so sorry for your um, issues with us losing your credit card. You have to cancel, you know, you have to cancel your credit card and go through all that hassle. Let me just comp this meal all together. Let me just comp the meal all together for the inconvenience. Had he done that, I would have said, you know what? Things happen. Things happen. I manage restaurants for a living, so I know that things happen. Things happen all the time. Mistakes happen, big mistakes happen, it happens, okay? 
Had he done that, I would have been completely okay going back to the to that establishment. 100% I would have been completely fine because that's customer service. But to offer me essentially $20, <laughs> I'm still insulted right now just verbalizing that out loud like I'm insulted and heaven forbid I was never going to ask for a free meal because listen let me tell you something as a black gay male in America I'm never going to ask anybody for anything for free not a meal no 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 not going to catch me doing that honey um, that being said it should have been offered. It definitely should have been offered. Um, so anyway, I got my car like 10 days later. I was so annoyed. They actually, I actually reached out to them on Instagram to explain to them how awful of an experience that was. And they promised me that they would get back to me. They took my phone number and all this stuff and they would give me a call and they'd fix it. They never fixed it. So. Anyway, I will not be going back to the restaurant. This video has gotten really long. I don't know if you guys, do you guys enjoy story times like this? I have a lot of dramatic stuff that's happened in my life. Um, I think I live a very um, mundane life. I really do think I live a very mundane life. Yet, the most dramatic things happen in my, in my life. Like that was the most dramatic thing ever. Um, and it just enraged me because what if I didn't have any other credit cards? You know, what if, like, what if you really effed up my finances for the next week waiting for me to get another credit card? You don't know what people got going on in their wallets. Oh, I'm so in the way even talking about it. But guys, let me know down below if you like this style of, um, <laughs> I guess my empties. I find empties videos to be kind of like boring. Like, okay, you use these products, so what? Tell us more. Give us more. We want the dirt, we want the tea. So I figure, you know, these monthly videos where we talk about which products I'm, you know, done with, I'll start it off with the products. I'll advertise them, tell you whether I'm gonna buy them again. Like I am definitely gonna buy this again and I will definitely be buying this again. And tell you what products I will not be buying again. I will not be buying this product again. And then we'll just do like a little story time. Um, something funny that's happened in my life, really dramatic. There's been some, oh, I mean, I, like I'm thinking about stuff I can talk about right now, like the catfish story. Oh my God, I'm getting hit at myself. Anyway, guys, um, thank you so much for watching. Um, be sure to subscribe to the channel for good skin, of course, and then like the video to clear up that hyperpigmentation. You gotta like the video to do that, and I'll catch you guys later. Bye.